So here we are making a video that I didn't want to make, but I feel like you deserve it. At the beginning of the year, I announced that I would be making a whole series around making and releasing 50 songs in one year. And for the past three months, I've done that. But I'm not going to beat around a bush here. I'm discontinuing the series. And I want to explain why, because you deserve to know why. And I also feel a little bit crappy about saying that I'm going to do something that I'm not. Now, with that said, there are reasons that many would assume are why I'm not continuing and that are not actually why. So here are not the reasons why I'm discontinuing. I'm not stopping because I can't make 50 songs in a year. That's not a problem. It's still going to happen. I'm still probably going to release more than 50 songs this year. If you've watched this series at all, you can probably figure that out. Most working producers like me are working on way more than 50 songs per year. And you can obviously follow my artist projects to see that at the end of the year, I'll definitely have released at least 50 songs between my two artist projects. Number two, I'm not stopping because I'm burned out or I can't take it anymore. This series has actually been really fun and creating the videos has been a challenge for me in wonderful ways to get better at storytelling, get better at communicating through video. So this isn't about being burned out. In fact, as you're about to see, it's kind of the opposite. I'm also not stopping because it's not getting enough views. And if that were the case, then this most recent episode would actually give me pause and reasons for me to continue since it's one of the better performing ones. And I, I feel like the editing style and format is one that would perform really well over the rest of the year if I were to continue. So it's not an issue with it's not getting enough views. All right, so why am I stopping? The reason is because I've realized that my entire goal from the beginning has been to grow my artist projects, my artist career, and focus more on that. At the beginning of the year, I did know that this was going to be a lot of work, and I knew that doing this series would also be hard. What I did not foresee was that I would really start working more on growing my artist projects in terms of their own social media platforms and content. So we're talking you know, music videos, short form content, and all other music pr promotion. We're talking about visual branding and everything else that goes into it that goes beyond the music. It's really easy to think that it's just the music. And the one thing that I'm stopping to realize is that music is really only half of the work that goes into actually creating an artist brand. There's a huge amount of work that happens that you guys don't see. And that might sound really dumb to say that I didn't foresee this. And it's not that I didn't think that I would do any artist content at all, but it's that I thought it would be less time consuming than it really is to make what we need to make to actually build the brand the right way. I'm not going to get into all the things that we're going to be doing, but in the next like two months, if you're following my projects, I guarantee you're going to see what I'm talking about and you're probably going to understand, yeah, that's not something that you can easily create. I'll leave it at that. I have two separate artist projects as well. I have my solo project, Nathan James Larson, and my cinematic worship project called Lithos, which is how I'm releasing that Cinematic Hymns album, which I was making over the last couple months that comes out actually on Friday this week, March 29th. Both of these projects, in my opinion, they deserve to be promoted in Grum. And that requires building social media and content. And as I've gone down the path that I'm going down, I'm constantly feeling like I, I just don't have enough hours in the week to give it everything that I know that I can. Like, I'm in pre-production for multiple music videos that demand a huge amount of time and travel and planning and scheduling and personnel. We're talking about music videos that are going to involve like 15 to 20 other people. And then of course the actual production itself, the filming, the shoots, the editing, everything that goes into it. And I do everything myself. I shoot everything. I edit everything. I do all this myself. Everything that you have seen on this series, I am the only person who's touched it. And, and I love that. I love being the person that's involved. And I hate that it's stopping because I've genuinely enjoyed making these episodes. But I also don't want to look back on this year and feel like I could have done more to do the one thing that I actually wanted to do at the beginning, which was to build my artist projects and to grow them. It's, it's honestly incredible, too, that in only you know five or six months that I've been releasing music, we've done almost 200,000 streams on Spotify alone with no social media. And that's just on my solo project, not even talking about my second project because it's not even out yet. And it makes me realize how much untapped opportunity there is. I'm not stopping making videos on this channel, so don't think this is my like, peace out, goodbye, I'm done. I'm actually just getting back to my roots. And that's by making more regular videos around how to make music and helping you improve in your craft. I have multiple videos that I'm working on right now. I know that many of you might be disappointed, and, and I am sorry. I'm a bit disappointed in myself, and I do feel like I'm letting some people down. And I also feel like there may be some people saying, I told you so, and you know what? Maybe I just need to step back and say, maybe they were right. But I also need to put my pride down for a second and really evaluate what is my true purpose and be willing to have some people get upset at me in the effort to pursue it. I'm not leaving YouTube. I'm not going anywhere. I've got a lot more videos coming your way very soon. Thank you to all of you who have watched this series. It means the world to me. If you do want to follow my music projects and see and hear what I'm talking about, I have links down below for both my solo project and my cinematic worship project. I'll see you soon.